If you're still selecting your champion versus this crazy machine gun, go for someone like Sivir because all of Jinx's spells are quite predictable and free mana with your shield, Draven because you can simply dodge her spells and out trade her easily in the early game, or Tristana because she'll have no escapes when you start jumping on her and blasting her down, Twitch with his extensive damage to low mobility targets, Ash because you won't miss a volley shot or ultimate arrow, and Misfortune if you can dump your whole ultimate on her face are other viable counters too. Jinx's passive makes her hyperactive whenever she kills an enemy or brings down a tower, her Q allows her to switch between her two guns. The minigun gives her attack speed, but lowers her range, and the big one has longer range and deals AoE damage in a small blast radius. Jinx's W fires a long skill shot that slows targets, but can easily be dodged, and her E places three traps on the floor that activate after a brief delay and roots the target. Super Mega Death Rocket fires a huge global rocket that gets increased damage the further it travels. She has really low trading potential early on, because it'll be hard for her to hit her abilities, and can only hit you with long range when switching to the big gun. Like most ADC, she'll be taking either Flash Heal or Flash Barrier, depending on what the support takes. As for her power spikes, it's quite simple. She is a late game hyper carry. You do not want to see the game get past 40 minutes if there's a Jinx on the other side. She could literally just stand there and AoE auto your team and get a Penta. I've seen an AFK Jinx do a Penta kill. Items like Infinity Edge and Runons really make her hit a ton. But for the laning phase, be careful for the Static Shiv, which will allow her to poke you for free with long ranged Qs. Levels 4 when she can put a second point into Q and get longer range, and 6 when she gets access to her finishing skirmishing touch of an ultimate are interesting power spikes too. She could somewhat be stopped with items that slow her attack speed down early on, but they'll become quite useless as she won't need many autos to finish you off later. A Thornmail too could allow her to easily kill herself. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, abuse her when her flash is down since she'll have no escapes, bully her if she has no mana since she won't have the range from her Q to hit back, and try to push her back into the tower because she'll have a really hard time farming there. Ultimately, have fun doing it.